Alright, Phineas. What is that drawing? <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast, that's loud! I had to know. They would have been trapped, but I had to know. I'm gonna mark your weapon. Uh, weapons from the void. I'm just yep. securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since. Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. Aha! I see you found my portable molecular compression device, better known as a shrink ray. Find a target, point, shoot. Your target will shrink down into a manageable size, whereupon you may commence beating them to a pulp. Feel free to try it on a marauder sometime. Bubbles. I mean, it's not that good. Oh. I mean, yeah, it makes people tinier, but do they take more damage? Like, it does weaken them, so maybe. I just don't really see it being necessary. Is the thing? How loud is it? Five meters. Man, I'm gonna keep my science weapons on me because I don't see a point not to. Also, I should probably put this back on somebody. Alright, I don't know. Let's talk. Oh, thank the law. Your skin hasn't spontaneously changed color. Potential side effect of the revival process. Very rare, but uh, you never know. Right. Welcome to my little uh, habitation, such as it is. I've got, uh, caffeinoids, sisty bits, if you're into that sort of thing. So, welcome. Make yourself at home. My secret hideout is your secret hideout. Any chance you repair the monitoring device? The one I gave you before your pod landed? Ruined. Beyond repair. Impossible to find replacement parts. That's Halcyon Manufacturing for you. Don't worry about it. I'm reasonably certain you're not going to spontaneously expire. No need to monitor your recovery. I appreciate you pulling me out of the hope. Not at all, my intrepid accomplice. I should thank you for tolerating my somewhat brusque manner. I only regret that I couldn't save more of your fellow settlers, what with being hunted by the board and emptying my supply of necessary chemicals. Of course, what's Anything on your else? mind? Some reason why you're hiding behind bulletproof glass. Oh, it's not you. I uh, do experiments in that room. Some of them get quite scientific. The unexpected is to be treasured, but uh, from a safe distance. Regardless, it's quite comfortable in here, you know. I have my beans, have my caffeinoids, plenty of toilet paper. Got a moment to talk? Absolutely. Let's talk. Have you met my crew yet? No, and I've been trying very hard to avoid making eye contact. Nice to meet you, Dr. Wells. I'm Parvati Holcomb. Wait, not another word. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know who you are. Let's just enjoy our plausible deniability while it lasts, shall we? Why don't you just invite the entire colony to my secret, carefully concealed laboratory? It isn't as if I wanted privacy. Relax, they're with me. Oh, fine. As long as you're vouching for their character and they aren't touching things. For what it's worth, I am pleased that you found a crew, such as they are. You may be extraordinarily dim-witted, but you've got heart. Pardon? I'm sure your crew sees that as well as I do. Doing pretty well for myself. Yes, indeed. Well... Okay, I think we're down here. Sisty pigs. Not a sisty pig. Plasma launcher.
It shoots two shots per, I think. Mentioned searching blank black market vendors on Groundbreaker and Fallbrook. Apparently, he has some success in. We haven't been to Fallbrook yet. We've been all throughout Groundbreaker, so I think we'll just have to go to Fallbrook. Well, that's my communications terminal. I can purchase them from Gladys, maybe? She's a vendor, right? I think. Go down. Menu compass down to Hawthorne and via escape pod. As soon as the revival process is complete, Hawthorne should make that for a rebel companion, or at least instead of a chaperone. While willing, he's in total buffoon. How you doing, Bubbles? Obscure body in the SK system. A bit framey. You know, like a memory leak issue? Thank you. Thank you. I know there are some ship collectibles that you, that you find these and hang them up in your ship. Oh my god. What happened? Seals leak, never use this pod. Muting volume now. Is there a memory leak problem with this game? Oh my goodness. Fettuccini? Yes, I believe I do envy you, Fettuccini. Alright, sir. I bid you farewell. I will be... 14, reminder, remember that this time, absolutely vital, 14, 14, 14. Thank you. Get me out of here. Goodbye, Phyllis. Maybe it's just his area? Head to Monarch now, I guess. Welcome back. Do wipe the blood and space dust from your feet. To Monarch. No, Groundbreaker. Why is it so slow? We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. Do return in one piece. Captain? I think he has the best ability.
Have either of these salt? Squizzy, squizzy. So we're talking to who? What? What are we doing here? The doctor. Right. I'll remember. Squizzy, squizzy. Can I buy information from you, ladies? How do you Great. do? I found a hens. <coughs> Food, food. I'm not gonna just go over to here, right? Weapons? I do not care. Oh, there's a buyback option. I'm gonna buy that from you if you don't mind. Hey, you, Mr. Ouch. That off your hands. Thank you. Does uh, Lydia also trade? You, you fool. You absolute fool. Do we really <laughs> steal from him before? We might have. What do you think you're doing? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. Don't let me catch you around here again. Easy XP. Bell shells. Hello, uh, hello. Now, is there something I can help? A better selection. Nothing I need. I think. Hello, Doctor. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Better. Keep hanging. What can I do? You have. Let's go talk Test to uh, you. You're so scary, Samuel. Sir. I don't think we've actually played for three hours like this. Maybe it means I'm just going too fast. So usually I just walk around. But I do think that might be a memory leak. I got no clue what half the junk on this desk is for, except the lamp. Improvise what Okay, I don't care about you. You telling anything? Watch yourself in Stellar Bay, Captain. Not to you, to my ship. The Scalia Bay New Monarch. I did not expect you. Stellar Bay. That's Kitty a landing pad. So apparently you could have just like landed here and walked there, I think. We're now in orbit of a Stellar Bay, Captain. Do you want to talk to me at all? Are you good? Be on my way. I'm gonna just eat Sam. Do it. There you go. Yeah, y'all are cool.
Oh no, we need the uh, the vicar, I think. Something's fishy. Read Stellar Bay. Do we need this nerd? Journal. Uh, still the Catherine of Albert. Monarch. Monarch. Okay, let's go back onto the ship because I can't just switch right. So. Sorry, Sammy. Come on, bigger. Sorry. Thank you. Vicar, we're here. Anything you want to say? As always. Anything you'd like to discuss? Wait for me on the ship. The Yacht Club. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Every time the punch clock peels, a worker earns his meals. What are you talking about? Sorry, I thought you were quoting It's a Wonderful Directorate. Brother. Onayuka. And the little bastard's slippery, right? on account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I, shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right, what are you staring, wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? I'm Fettuccini, tethered to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Sure, buy another round, bartender. I stand! What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Told you can help me find the information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass, wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. That's so I heard this is bug. There's a couple things I know that are bugged, and I heard this is one of them. 
So, uh, you know what you're taking. I know they make me see straight for a little while. You gonna get me a dose or what? I get it. I will get it. It doesn't actually mark what it is in your quest, I believe. It doesn't count as actually accepting the quest. I don't know. Hi. I have the same thing, dude. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest salt tuna and halcyon. I'm gonna do your job and do speak to your boss. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on erupted on acid. It must be expensive. Twenty bottles worth adds up, that's for sure. You'd think Sebastian would give me a discount as much as I buy from him. Let's give you free bags at least. Oh, I don't mind. I usually buy things one at a time. Gives me more chances to talk to him. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Maybe I could talk to him for you? Do you? I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, I'm curious. What do you see in Sebastian? He doesn't talk much. Also, where is Sebastian? Who is Sebastian? Intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Kind of like you, actually. I'm quite talkative. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. That's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Well. New Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Guess I'll have to wait till you don't want your meeting. And a sense of humor, too. Did you hear that, Celia? I heard it, sir. But I'm sure you didn't come here to trade witticisms. Hmm? No, you're here for business. Me? I'm trying my own path, going where the wind takes me. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. Hey, maybe both. Now, now, there's no need to humor me. I'm used to this particular letdown. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. If you're free of the other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're tired of scrounging and scrapping by, is yes. that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Exactly. Intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future, but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality. Mr. Vicar, I don't want to be rude, but I don't think that means anything. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. So what do you mean to do about it? Well, 
Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? That's precisely what I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, <clears throat> starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll okay. have a powerful ally on the board. The Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Will you just not let that smirk go? Is he gonna hold it there? Alright. Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Uh, where do I find one? Not intelligent enough? In the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in, these days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Uh, I guess I'll go get your bolt 52. I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. What can yeah, I, I do for you? Here. Uh, I'm looking for the information Hiram? broker. Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. How do I get to Devil's Peak? You'd head south along the road and look for a mountain to the west. Not that I'd advise it. It's a terribly dangerous trek. But if you insist on going, I'd recommend taking a local guide. Nioka would be a prime candidate. Okay. If you can keep her sober. Thank you for the time. Can I go to your office? I'm going. You can just stay in. Never mind. What do you do, sir? If you leave town, watch out for Iconoclast. I'm gonna walk through a table. I'm going. No, follow me, follow me. Coming no back. walk. Come back. Outside? Right, I'm gonna stay to the side, I know. You got an issue with your wall, brother. Well, we don't get many outsiders. I can tell. Where am I? Wouldn't mind smelling like Saltuna. A garage? Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. Catherine says she will shove you into a box if you talk running your yap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. I hope you can forgive my temper. Why this do you like been running Maisie Williams with dreads? First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. You should probably see a doctor about that. That's what Braxton is. He's our fish doctor. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals. But he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. I can't keep working double shifts either. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Already. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Uh... Who is this Catherine you mentioned when I first came here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. 
Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Sid Braxton had been stealing drugs. <laughs> stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterobiotics we used for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. Should have hung that sleazy bag out the dry. Someone would have if this were a corporate town. But we pride ourselves on giving people a little breathing room. Besides, the Spacer's Choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the salt tuna, fat, and mostly tumor free. What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. I can talk to Caleb for you. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. Why can't you give him the, his pay increase? I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for... I get it, I get it. In at least this area, I will begrudgingly give her that. Thank you. I think. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Are we willing to meet Caleb halfway? For running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. San and Jerry are going to notice your shortfalls before long, and they'll hold you Maybe responsible. So, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then you'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, ma'am. I'll be the one stealing. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. All right, bye -bye. Cool. I will steal whatever from this absolute beta of a man. Up here. Skirt. Skirt. I don't want to steal anything because I don't want to be arrested. Um, ooh, uh, what have you? Oh, let our. We weren't done exploring in there, also. The ruined south. I don't want to go anywhere where I don't want to be yet. Grenade launcher too. She did. discovered you're an artist captain hunting rifle ultra does seem pretty good but I mean it's not what I'm here for I'll take it You. Skirt. I saw that. Can't see you. Okay. Velma seem out of sorts to you. She's always cranky. She's always cranky. I mean, more than you. Not found. Patient not found. Yoga's yeah, not a patient here.
this stuff. The MSI dispensary. Hello, Hello Abigail. Dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Flatter. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Are you in charge of handling out medicine? Yes, indeed. Someone's got to keep Stella Bay's people healthy and energized. I guess so. You certainly seem like you could use a pep you up, dearie. I'm okay. Shh. Shh. I already had the door open. Right. I'm gonna take like a couple minutes because we've been playing this for like four and a half hours. Give me a moment. We might be switching games. I'm gonna find out. I'll be right back. Save. <laughs> 